Hello, SoCal SAC. Uh, this is Fred Kokaska. Sorry we couldn't get together today for our uh, tech session. Uh, I'm really missing that. But um, Joe, seeing Joe's video inspired me to try this. Um, I was going to give this presentation today at the tech uh, meeting. And uh, it's about uh, TAC tachometer drive, uh, generator tachometer drive problems. Uh, with my car, I was having for, for months, really, I didn't realize it, but the needle started getting bouncy and also it picked up a strange noise. I was convinced that the noise was coming from the tack and I thought, boy, the problem's in the tack. I'm going to have to pull that all out and fix it. Um, and I'm lucky I didn't because it, that isn't where the problem was. Uh, then on a long drive recently, uh, the tack just went dead and it stopped working completely. So I started taking things apart and uh, thought I'd share with you what I found. So um, basically there's three parts of the tack drive you have to check out and eliminate. Uh, there's the drive part that's part of the generator. Then there's the cable that runs into the, uh, through the firewall. And then there's the tachometer instrument itself. Uh, the problem can be in any of those three areas, right? So um, the first thing I did was disconnect the tack cable uh, at the generator and I flipped it with my finger uh, counterclockwise and had somebody watch the gauge and the, the needle would jump. So that tells me that everything downstream from there is okay, which was very fortunate for me. Obviously, if, if, you're, if your gauge didn't flip when you do that, then you've either got a broken cable uh, or the tack itself is, is bad um, and you'd have to do further testing. But for me, uh, what I did was uh, took the back, I'll show you here, I got some pictures, I hope these come out, but uh, just, just you can leave the generator in the car and you just remove these uh, three screws, I circled in red there, and you, you, uh, the cover will come off the back of the generator. And then I'll show you what that reveals. Okay, so that looks like this then, when that cover comes off, and you can see this this gear comes out of the generator. It, en it engages a, another gear, which is actually in the piece that comes off. And I, I actually have that piece here. It's, it's a, you can see this one is, the, the teeth are all worn down. It's almost round. And it's made out of fiberboard or almost wood. And you can see there was a buildup of what looks like sawdust in there. So that metal gear that was, uh, you know, engaging it over, and I have a feeling this is original with my car, uh, so probably 60 years, um, just started grinding. And it, it, like I said, it made a howling sound. Before it failed, it just it must have a vibration that carried through the cable up into the tachometer. Anyway, um, so you pull that off, and then uh, you can take this apart further. That's a reverse threaded nut. And get that out. And uh, you can order this replacement part. The new parts are made out of nylon, which will probably last much longer, probably last my lifetime and then some. Um, and you can see the bigger teeth that aren't worn away on that gear. Put it back together. And you can see it installed there into the, into the hub. Uh, did a light coating of uh, grease on the, both gears and on the little bearing there in the back and I reassembled it and uh, that solved my tack problem. The tack now, no, no strange noises, the needle is perfectly smooth, no problems at all. So um, if you're having tack problems, I hope that helps you out. Uh, I'm looking forward to this uh, pandemic being over and we can get out and uh, drive our cars and do our events again, okay? Everybody take care. See you next time.